I know you mentioned that your dad very, uh, died very early. Yeah. At what particular age did he die? When I was six years old. When you were six years old. Yes. So what memory do you still have of your dad? Actually, he was a very sharp man. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a sharp dresser, mm -hmm. but he was a very sharp man. Mm -hmm. He was a very good businessman. But uh, being a good businessman doesn't mm -hmm. mean you're a good money manager. Mm. That's one thing uh, he failed at. He was he had a, when he died, he was at his peak. He had a very good business. Mm -hmm. He used to do it in uh, Uganda. So he used to get coffee, berries from here, take it to Uganda, had a processing plant, mm. refine the coffee, then Oh, he had a processing export. plant? Yeah, yeah. in Uganda. Yeah. It was actually very, very cheaper for him. Uh -huh. So, and we, live, we lived a, a while, we lived there for a while when in he was Uganda. building his business. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Unfortunately, he died very young when he was starting to build his business. Oh. He died very young. What happened? Uh, he, he had diabetes. Mm. And at that time, I think we African men yeah. uh, didn't value, the, didn't take seriously being ill. Yeah. So like another African man, he just said, ah, he just assumed it's something yeah. else. Mm. And at that point, when you have diabetes, um, when you go to hospital, your mm. symptoms are the same as malaria. Yeah. So they give you quinine. They used to give people quinine injection. Oh. So when they give, once malaria they give you quinine, quinine, yeah. yeah when they give him quinine injection, he died in the next 24 hours. Wow. So, oh. yeah, because quinine does not work very well with oh. diabetes. diabetes. People, oh, yeah, it's know. poison yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why. So he died at his peak and mm -hmm. then the business, because there's no one to take over the business at that time. Everyone mm -hmm. was very young. Mm -hmm. The oldest of us, I think, was 12 years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. I think that was my sister. Mm -hmm. So no one could take over the business. My mother didn't have any idea on how to do the business. Yeah. The business failed eventually. Wow. So that's why we started now going back to the slums. So and you then moved from Uganda, came to Nairobi? Yeah, yeah and because we are, we are from here, so we had to start from scratch. Interesting. And yeah. you've mentioned something very interesting, that yeah. your dad didn't have very good money management skills. Yes. What did you observe? Because it's very interesting that a yeah. six-year-old, you would have observed all these things. Well, I didn't observe it then, yes. but once you come and sit down and, and look at it now, mm -hmm. you say, okay, he wasn't very very good money manager. He used to spend... Because he used to come with a lot of money at the end of the day. You got on shillings or Ugandan Ugandan shillings now. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a paper bag. In a paper bag. I remember the peel paper bag, yes, the green yes, one. Yes. He used to come with money in that Zilla's bag. a calendar. Yes. And then when he leaves the end of tomorrow and he goes back to the office, he yes. doesn't have any money in his pocket. Uh, so he used to he used to, he even used to pay school fees for the neighbor's kids mm. who would not be able to pay school fees. Mm -hmm. He used to feed people, his whole family from his mother mm. to the last born sister he had. Mm -hmm. So he was a very bad money manager when it comes to to take saving mm -hmm. and investing in other things because mm -hmm. money was coming in so he was very sure money will continue coming in mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then that's why i think he lost the plot ah interesting yeah. and what to, what are some of the lessons you'll say you'll take away from what's it called from having probably seen your dad also maybe not be very good in terms of money management what are some of the aspects about his life that you have incorporated in your life to ensure that it, that doesn't go on forward into the next generation uh i think you you have to be very careful in terms of um because i think right now we are in a better place than mm. we were at that time mm. and we have a lot of information mm. on our fingertips we have the media we mm. have we have we have everything mm -hmm. you can get information if you don't have information or you don't have any information i think you're just being ignorant mm -hmm. so uh Investing, investing, investing in other things are creating wealth because I think um, whatever you're building for the future mm. has to be uh, has to be uh, strong enough so that people who are coming in can be able to continue with that. And then building a business just transgen that proceeds generations Generation, that yeah. you have. Yeah. So you have to build a business where you incorporate your children into the business. Mm. Like if my son grows, he becomes old enough, mm. he can be involved in the business so he knows even if I'm not there, mm. uh, the business can continue. My partner, his name is Fadil, yeah. if he has to know that he, he, when he comes into the business, he's doing the business day to day, even the children, no, or his children come. who are yeah. coming in can understand the business so that the business continues mm -hmm. even if you're not there. So that the family can be able to have a source of income. Yes, whatever happens. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And something about you is like, okay, so you've grown up in Majengo, but you eventually get yourself to the, to the university. Yeah. Um, how difficult was it getting there? Because you mentioned that your mom, mother was working at the city council. Yeah. You guys had four particular siblings. Yes. Your mother really struggled to get you there. Yeah, my mother, she, she, she actually, she is one very smart money manager, I can tell you that. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. she, she was able to pay school fees and university fees for four children. Wow. To completion because i was the last one under the city council yes salary yes, yeah so the circles the charmers ah, and everything else uh -huh. came into okay, and then she ladies was, are magicians yes <laughs> when it comes to money they're very yeah. smart yes and i think uh if you could take her now and give her a, a account on somewhere else mm. 
she'll do a very marvelous job. Interesting. Yeah, because it's it's all about how smart she was in terms mm. of what she made. Mm. And um, she never had an extra income from anywhere else. Mm. It was just the same income. And it was a very meager income, even up until now. Because mm. I think she's still paying those loans mm. up until now mm -hmm. for, for our education. Yeah. yeah, so she was very smart in how she spent her money. Interesting.